are you selling in the UK? Either Amazon, eBay, or just in general, do you have a business in the UK? Because if you do, this is really important and I want you to listen to this video really carefully and I want to make sure that you're doing the right thing. Before I tell you what the issue is here, um, the warning is don't forget to subscribe to my channel and if you can it'll take two seconds please like this video um, just click the thumbs up button it really really helps me get views it helps me make these videos and it just means a lot to me and once you've done that let's get continue with the video so the huge warning here is and you probably already know this do not under any circumstances register for VAT until you 100% have to and let me tell you why so this is um I'm, I'm i'm talking mainly about amazon business but i've just realized now um well i realized before but i've realized that this relates to any uk business that you may have um it's really really important and i'm going to relate it directly to amazon but just bear in mind it works with any business so the threshold for when you have to register for VAT is £85,000 revenue a year so that's a very very important number to know and this number is from 2017-2018 plus two years so it will be this number until 2020 or 2000, the end of 2019 I believe um, but first let's just start with the basic what is VAT well VAT is value-added tax and you if you're registered for, for VAT, you have to, VAT is not the same as your just corporation tax. Corporation tax is separate to VAT. VAT, you pay on the revenue of every sale you make and you also charge it. So for example, if I buy, um, whatever it may be, if I buy something from Apple, if I buy an iPhone from Apple, I will be charged 20% VAT and I'll have to pay that VAT as an individual. Um, if I have a company that is VAT registered, I'll be able to claim back. Now, this all sounds confusing, so don't worry, I'm gonna explain what this all means. Um, don't worry, I'm really gonna explain what this all means. Um, so, you're probably thinking, um, if you have a business, you can claim back on purchases made as long as you can relate them to the business and buy them through the business, you can always claim back and get that 20% back. Now that sounds really good in theory. So yes, you can go on a massive shopping spree and spend thousands of pounds in Apple and wherever you want to buy stuff from and then you can just put through all the receipts and claim back on all of them, the VAT. However, what you're not thinking about is um, the is paying the VAT. So you also have to pay VAT on your revenue. So for example, the reason why this is such a huge, huge topic for Amazon is when you um, have a product on Amazon, the price is very, very important. The reason you have that price is because is because you've done the research and that that price point that you've put your product at is what's getting you the highest conversions. If you have to charge an extra 20% on top of that price point, you might really, really hurt your conversions. So what do you end up doing? Well, let's say your price point is 20 pounds on Amazon and then you become registered for VAT. Well, you now have to pay revenue on that 20 pounds every single time you get a sale, okay? I'm not gonna bother doing maths on this YouTube channel live because it's just silly, but you have to pay 20% on that 20 pound sale every single time. Now you say to yourself, well, that's, that's fine because I'll just charge VAT to my customer at the end. So you slap on 20% extra onto your um, onto the amount. So you're charging 24 pounds instead of 20 pounds now. But what you're not factoring in is that 20 pounds that you had, that that sales point of 20 pounds was the perfect, perfect point um, for you to get sales and stay just ahead of the competition, but not be too expensive and not too cheap. And it was just the perfect price point to get as many sales as you possibly could. And by adding the VAT money is you've just screwed yourself over over there, right? You've just screwed yourself over by adding that extra four pounds. So you think, oh, okay, fine, fine. I won't do that then. I won't add the four pounds. Well, now you're paying the VAT on your 20 pounds that you on the, the price point that you had before you were, you were VAT registered. So now you are making, your profit margin just goes all the way down because you have to account for paying VAT. So the reason I um, feel so passionately about this is because we ran into this mistake. We, we registered for VAT too early because we thought, oh, we can claim back, we can make a lot of money back, this could be great. It's not, it's really not great. So if you have a company, whatever that company may be, don't just think of the short term 
what can I get? What money can I get? Think of the longer term, how will this affect my business? How will this affect my ranking on Amazon? How will this affect clients who want to purchase my service and now I have to charge VAT to? How will this affect all of these different factors? Once you've thought about all of that, then consider whether or not it's worth it to be VAT registered. And let me just quickly just make a point here. Chances are, if you have a successful business and you're making a lot of money on Amazon, you are going to have to be VAT registered pretty soon anyway. But the only thing I'm trying to stress here is don't register for VAT too soon just because it's an unnecessary cost that you don't need and it just doesn't help you. So let me just quickly, quickly go over this video. You have to register for VAT if you hit 85,000 a year in revenue. If you haven't hit 85,000 a year in revenue, don't register because you will have to pay for VAT. You have to pay every single time you get a sale and it's on the revenue, not the profit. So it really, really eats into your profit at the end of the day. And it just isn't worth it. And the amount you claim back here and there, you claim back a few things, it's not worth it. Now, let me quickly tell you a tip. Um, if you're thinking, oh, then I'll just wait to buy all this office equipment that I need until I've registered, I believe that when you register for VAT, you can backtrack, I think it's three or four years, get this checked by an accountant, because I don't remember, we did it a while ago, but you can backtrack receipts for the last three or four years. So if you buy an iPhone on the business today, but you don't register for VAT for two years time, you can still get the VAT back on that iPhone. I remember we did this and we were able to get back a lot of money based on the stuff we had bought for the last three years for the business. Um, which was actually really nice because it was a lump sum of money. And that's pretty much what convinced us to register for VAT was that we would get this large sum of money that we could then use for stock. But we didn't think of the future. We thought of the short term. We didn't think of the future in terms of how this is going to affect our business, how this is going to affect our price and our ranking on Amazon, and how this is going to affect our end customer when it comes to how much they have to pay and how they will like us as a company when they end up having to pay more or less. Okay, so think of everything you have to think about when registering for VAT and if it still is worth it for you, then go ahead and do it. But just note that this is a warning and I want you to know that there's a lot to consider when registering for VAT. And like I said, if you think it's worth it, then go ahead and do it. But as long as you've thought about it all, um, then that's absolutely fine. You know you're doing the right thing. So that's it for this video. That was the warning. If, Like I said, if you I'm not gonna say the whole warning again, it's just too much information, but that is it. If you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Like I said, like button takes you three or four seconds to click and it means so much. It gets me so many more views. So let me try and get, let's try and get those likes up to, I don't know, 30 likes for this video, nothing crazy. And, and yeah, and hopefully you like this video and hopefully I'll see you in the next video.